What's up guys, I'm martial artist and actress Gabriella Corvina and I'm gonna show you guys how I get high kicks. <laughs> I put my heart in your vial me, honestly, I'm giving all of it. I see a hole in this bottomless, I'm in the fly, I ain't calling. If you're trying to take on my confidence, it don't like me feeling confident. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to warm up with some line drills. So line drills are basically moving up and down the mat. It's not necessarily kicks just yet. I'll keep my leg extended and I'll go first, low, medium, and then high with those stretches. So it would look something like this. I like to do straight leg and then I'll also do crescent. So I'll do the same thing with my crescent. Keeping it low first. Just getting my muscles warm. Like a ghost, never no one knows. Heart is turning cold. I've been there before, I've been there and more. Fighting in that war, changing who you are. These really help to open up your hips. You wings, you are made to I'm going medium now. You your wings, you made to the last one, I always go as high as I can. Fit in when you're so outstanding, you don't gotta panic. All the people manage me, you and your man is focus like a cannon. Follow all your dreams, kind of repeat. Then you will succeed. That I guarantee. This can laugh at you and act a fool, but it ain't up to them. And those are my line drills. All right, so the next stretch that I really, really, really advise and love to do is I'll take a resistance band. So this is actually a weighted jump rope, but it's nice and stretchy. And I'll usually use something like this that stretches and extends and that I can hang on to with a firm grip to do resistance kicks. So this will actually help get your kicks higher and then also work your strength with these kicks. So what I'll do is I'll stick my foot in that loop there I usually like doing side kicks with these, but these help open your hips either way. I'm gonna tug on this rope to the outside of my knee. I usually like to just lean on something sturdy. I'm gonna point with my heel and the blade of my foot. I'm gonna kick up. I'll turn sideways so y'all can see a little bit better and I'll pull in. So the more that I feel warm and stretched, the tighter I'll start pulling this so that my leg will go even higher. These have helped me get my side kicks way, way, way higher. So I really recommend resistance band kicks. Also, they will help you strengthen those high kicks as well. All right, so the next stretch that I'm gonna get into is a stationary stretch. I will do this literally 30 minutes to an hour when I'm stretching. This is what really helps open up those hips, get those kicks really high. So what I'll do, and we do this in martial arts class a lot and actually with a partner most of the time, but if you don't have a partner, just find a wall, sit against it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into actually a um, side split and I'm going to, or front facing split, whatever it's called. Don't really know the exact name, but facing, forward right so I'm gonna push my hips all the way as far as I possibly can towards this wall can't exactly do this full split just yet um, but something that I'm personally working up to myself so I'll push my feet flat against this wall and sometimes I'll just literally re relax here I'll be on my phone I'll listen to motivational videos listen to music and I'm just chilling and the more you get used to sitting in this position, then you can start adding more resistance. So I push again, it gets easy, I push closer. And that's usually literally like inches and centimeters. It's not like I'm forcing myself up way, way, way a lot. It's probably every five minutes I try to push myself even closer, even closer. And then when you get out of this position, make sure to come back slowly because it is gonna hurt a little bit, especially um, if you have really tight hips. I'm one of those people I generally have tight hips. My hips ache a lot. That's just from martial arts over the years. It is what it is. So what I'll do is I'll slowly just lean back and inch myself off of that wall. 
I'll straighten out those legs, get those legs together, do a few pulses here. I'm good to go. All right, so now we get into the kicking. So now I feel pretty good. I feel pretty stretched. This is my head level, so that's pretty high. If I was sparring against an opponent, this is actually a head above mine already. So that's already a pretty high kick. Of course, we want to get those kicks up all the way as much as we can, but if we're going into sparring terms, high kicks, this is great. Above your head is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in my fighting stance. So this is a speed bag for boxing, but I like to use it for my kicks because I can adjust it high, low, um, and it also helps with aiming. It's a small target. So we're gonna practice those roundhouse kicks. So nice and easy, pop. And it also helps if you can see with timing. Okay, this is also a good one to work with hook kicks. You can even do front kicks. Okay, but having that target above your head, that's how you know you have that high kick. Even head level is great, but above your head, that's even better. Last but not least, the best way to open up those hips, really get those kicks high, is you're actually doing the splits in the air. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the splits. If you can get your uh, splits down, then you got high kicks, okay? So usually you can sit in this position for a while um, and really just getting down into that where you can just sit there, that's the best for high kicks. Literally the splits, because that's what you're doing in the air. So once you can do those splits, you got high kicks. So now I'm all stretched. I've done everything that I need to do. I've done my drills. I've stretched it out. Now I'm ready to either spar or just practice my high kicks. Thanks for watching my ninja fam. Make sure to check out my other martial arts tutorial videos right here and right here. That's where you can find all sorts of different content. So we have punching, we have kicking, different tutorials on kicks, also techniques. If you want to get into more advanced tutorials, make sure to join my memberships. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.